Hello, my name is Bob Unger. I'm the director of worship and music at Resurrection Lutheran Church in Cary, North Carolina. On May 21st, we will celebrate Ascension Day. A great celebration and festival in the season of Easter. I remember as a young boy singing a hymn of glory, let us sing. It sort of tells the whole ascension story in song. So I thought we could reflect on that today. It's a Latin hymn from the 8th century by Venerable Bene. It was first found in an 11th century manuscript. The Venerable Bede made contributions in many areas. Scholarship, grammar, philosophy, poetry, bibliography, biography, history, and religion. There's even possibility that he also contributed musically. His hymns number in at least a dozen at most were possibly the first Christian hymns written on, Chris, on English speaking soil. He was born in 673 in a village in County Durham. Bede was orphaned when he was young. He received his education first under Benedict Biscop and later under Kielfirth at Wormouth and Yarrow Monastery both of which were near his birthplace. At age 19, he was ordained a deacon by St. John of Beverly. And 11 years later, he was ordained a priest. The remainder of his life was divided between the two monasteries and was spent in study. This hymn, A Hymn of Glory, Let Us Sing, is an ascension hymn telling the story of the ascension. A hymn of glory, let us sing. New hymns throughout the world shall ring. Alleluia, alleluia. Christ, by a road before us trod, ascends unto the throne of God. Alleluia, alleluia. interesting is that this melody, which has become a favorite of many Christians, also used for ye watchers and ye holy ones, also used for from all that dwell beneath the skies, also used for now all the vault of heaven resounds, and is used for the common doxology. Praise God for whom all blessings flow. The Alleluia's are what make it glorious. This melody, Lost uns Erfreuen, first appeared in Cologne in the 1600s, coupled to an Easter hymn, of course. Therefore, the tune is sometimes called Cologne, or Easter Song, or Easter Alleluia. might even be perhaps based on an earlier folk tune because it bears some resemblance to one called Psalm 36 from Strasbourg in the 1500s. Where you place the hallelujahs result in two different forms of the tune. Although this text and tune were very popular with the German-speaking Roman Catholics in the 17th century, the hymn was not used among Protestants until its inclusion in the English hymnal in the 1900s, where it was brought into popularity by Ralph Vaughan Williams, or Rafe as he is called. He barred the tune in triple meter, 
and together with his harmonization, created a form of the music that is nothing short of classic. Percy Diermer states, This now famous tune is built together on a single musical note, a four-note motif, which is imitated and inverted. It is a remarkable example not only of the economy of structure, but of the accumulating force of repetition. One repeated phrase as here is strong enough to bugger it. A hymn of glory, let us sing.
that you are with us and you are a God that is for us. So we place into your hands all for whom we pray, commending them knowing that you are a good and gracious God and that you can bring good into any situation. Through Christ.